I have this thing on the wall, this light switch. That's been like that for over a year. So I need a light switch plate. I also have one of those over here. And one more over here. I have three light switch. Oh, there's another one over there. I have four light switch plate covers that I need. Two with two switches and two with one switch. I'm gonna tape it to the door handle. To the door handle. Anybody else have a box like this filled with wires that don't, like what is that even for? The most important thing is I have to fix those light switches. I have to get plates on those light switches because it's been a year and you can't have no plates on your light switches for a whole year. Check this out. Here's our switch plate. So actually, I got the preferred. These are preferred. So when you when you guys put these things on, are you a, a slot up and down or a slot sideways kind of person? I'm definitely a slot sideways kind of kind of guy. I like to have these sideways. Pretty cool. Pretty cool that you can put them uh, flat or up and down. That's my dishwasher. It sings a little song every time it's done the dishes. Makes you happy. Like that. Or like that. I like them like that. I like them horizontal. Oh yeah, see you can tell from everything in my house that I like horizontal. Where, where's the other, zoom in. Mm -hmm -hmm. Horizontal. How about these ones over here? Where is it? I gotta find it with this camera. Like this. Where are they? Here they are. Horizontal. Oh my God, these ones aren't. These ones aren't horizontal. Ah, neither are those. Over here. Look at this. Gotta make those horizontal. Look at them all. They're all messed up. Horizontal. On to the next plug, not plug. On to the next switch. <laughs> Look at this one. This one's all sorts of messed up. It's not even flat on the wall. Gotta fix that up by just doing this. <laughs> I wonder why I never... I 
wonder why it's taken me a year to do this after I painted the walls. It's not like it's hard or uh, it's not like it's going to take a long time. But why did I not do this for like a whole year? Oh, so let me tell you a story about this screwdriver I'm using. I think this came with a Nest thermostat. Uh, it came with it, like, free. In the box, that came with a thermostat. This is like the best screwdriver I've ever used. I don't... I never lose it. It's... I don't know, there's something about this screwdriver that's awesome. And I think it's like the best designed screwdriver I've ever seen in my life. So props to Nest, I guess they made that screwdriver. I don't remember. So here we go. Another switch about to be put on. Making moves, making big moves, doing things. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Watch how nice this makes it look. Watch the impressive... I'll watch the transformation. Horizontal. Beautiful. Beautiful. Is that perfectly horizontal? Whoa! Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. Now I know what you're thinking, and you're gonna say, that's upside down, because down should be off but this is one of those special switches and I'll show you what I mean come with me do, 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 do. come with me and I'll show you what I mean check out this check out this check this out can you see the light in the other room no, you can't, but look, look at this. Special switch. I don't know why, but it's so that you don't have to walk like five feet to do the, the light. Check this out. Light. Like five feet away over here. Light. So. Pretty convenient. All right, so here's before, before. Let's get this lined up better. So here's the before, and then here is going to be after. Before and after. It looks pretty good.
horizontal. So let me tell you something about putting these switches on. If you're not careful, if you're using a small driver like this, if you twist it wrong, it'll mark up the paint. You don't want to mark up the paint. So look at this, I'll show you. See the paint? Whoa. Look, I screwed up the paint with this little tiny screwdriver. See how it, it shows? I screwed it up big time. So be careful. That looks pretty good. So the last, we have one more. One more and the year, it's a one year renovation to, to put light switches on the wall. One whole year. All right, this one's another double. Another doubler, double or nothing. So look at this. Look how nasty that is without a plate cover. Man, this is gonna make the whole house, this is gonna tie the whole house together. Here we go. One last look at the house with no switch plates. And what it's gonna look like with switch plates. Switch plates. Once again, be very careful with the screwdriver so that you don't scratch the screws. And I like to do a, a cross pattern when I'm putting these in. Otherwise, you can end up with too much torque on the, on the one side, so. Make sure you make sure you crisscross so that you don't uh, have one side all tight, the other all weird. Oh! That was close, we almost just uh, broke the unbreakable plastic. If, you, if you're wearing headphones, sorry, it might have hurt your ears. And that's how Oh, are they? Yeah, all horizontal. One, two, three, four horizontal screws. I need some trim on this. That, that'll probably take another year. So, check it out. A very easy way to make your house a little bit more presentable, and tie it all together. Thanks for watching. And be careful when you're uh, doing these. It's kind of a, you might want to call an electrician so that, so that it gets done right.